she doesn't look like a rampaging lunatic in her school photo. But trust me, that changes on April 1st. <laughs> Luann uses the holiday as an excuse to torture our family with prank after prank. There was the great mustarding of three years ago. Oh no, it's spicy brown! The mass hair waxing disaster. Ugh, I can't even show you that flashback, but I can play you the audio. Crushed it! Oh man, you were right, Dad. Seeing those empty plates and happy faces is making me feel so warm. Oh, honey, that may oh that might be because the oven's still on. No, no, I mean it. That felt almost as good as getting a big laugh on stage. I got punched. I got, punched. I got so poo, really. <sighs> Let me guess, Luann? Uh, she said she had a yoke that would crack me up. P.S. It didn't. I can't wait for her chortle portal thing to be over. She's been driving me nuts. Tell me about it. It's not even funny. It's just obnoxious. She's so annoying. I wish you would just stop. Seriously. I know, it's not cool. Why do chicken coops only have two doors? Because if they had four, they'd be chicken sedans. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Yes! <laughs> Isn't this fun, everyone? <laughs> Jeez, the hat doesn't look that bad. No, look! I have a huge pimple. I can't let Benny see me like this. Oh, why didn't you say anything? I didn't notice, but I can certainly see it now. Yowzers! Hello, operator? Get me NASA. I just discovered a new planet. Not helping, Mr. C. <gasps> Lucy, what are you doing on the stairs? Sigh. I submitted my best poem to the Transylvania Review. They didn't want it. I must not have what it takes to be a poet. Your first rejection letter, huh? Well, step into my office. I want to show you something. These are my rejection letters. It's like a coffin for your dreams. Everything ready. Cots, medical supplies, and my patented heel meals. How many survivors? Six. Uh, two. Make that five. Guys, no! It's not what you think! <laughs> She's infected! Get her out! <sighs> Water, you say? We add some melon. Great crowd, huh? Yeah, super. So, what was that all about with the watermelon? Well, you know, audiences seem to love it when I fall down, so... Let me worry about the audience. You take care of deodorizing these clown shoes. My pranking is about to reach new heights! <laughs> Get it? Oh, there's no one here. Manager, this is Lynn Loud Sr. My son and I were just headed up to the roof, but we seem to have gotten stuck in the elevator. Uh, I'll be right there. This is what I get for hiring an amateur. Okay, no one went in the bathroom yet, so I'm guessing there's some pranks waiting to go off in here. Perfect. Unstrap me. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still waiting on that juice. Uh, I don't know. Do you want me to find the real prankster or not? Okay, fine.
poetry teacher is hosting a poetry festival and has asked me to be a part of it. That is amazing! Congrats! It's going to be at the Royal Woods Theater. You don't say! No kid has ever performed on stage there before. You don't say! Is your face okay? Yes, it's just so happy for you. It's just so, so great how you didn't have to struggle too long to make your dreams come true. So, so great. I can't breathe. <sighs> Thank you so much, Luann. If it wasn't for you, I never would have made it to the Royal Woods Theater. embarrass herself in front of old Benny boy. Just between you and me, she's sweet on the guy. <laughs> really? Uh, Benjamin rather fancies her as well. He does? I mean, you do? <laughs> Luann! You gotta call off prank again. Please, Roni Ann is coming over tomorrow, and I can't let her get pranked. Okay. Really? Wow, that was easier than I. April Fool's practice! Lincoln, you know the April Fool's rules. Anyone who sets foot on our property is fair game. Speaking of which, is Clyde coming over? Because I'd love to just say, hey! <laughs> Oh, I get it. She's, like, trapped in a box. That's exactly how I felt when my mom said I couldn't dye my hair purple. Wow. It's like the soul-crushing pointlessness of seventh grade. Uh-oh! I dropped my banana I wouldn't want anyone to slip on it. Maybe then pick it up. Hey, Luann. I just made six cream pies, but I can't think of what to do with them. I don't know. You could eat two, I guess, and then give the rest to charity. Man, I've been practicing my rim shots all day. If only I had a reason to bust one out. Well, good luck with that. I really want one of those mac and cheese bites, but Lincoln's gonna have a conniption. But then again, watching Lincoln have a conniption is fun. Ow! That'll teach her. Oh, so we're protecting our stuff now, huh? Fine by me. I understand if you don't want to hang out with me anymore. I mean, who wants to date a girl with a gross pimple on her cheek, right? Um, I do. I don't care if you have a pimple. You're still you. You're sweet. You crack me up. <laughs> and you're so much fun to hang out with. No. Oh. <laughs> we were looking for Luna's diary. She wrote about a big secret, and we have to find out what it is. Guys, oh. that is so wrong. I can't even joke about it. Ah, uh, come on, toots. Drop the saint routine. I know you're itching to find out what dear old sis is hiding. It's gotta be juicy if she's yakking about it in a diary. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll help you guys look. I know all the good hiding places. Lincoln, try that desk drawer. <laughs> Luann! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. This poem goes out to the person who got me here, my big sister, Luann. <laughs> Dreams burnt to ash, hope tangled like laces, till love swept in with puns and funny faces. Where my path will lead, I can't be sure, but if ever I'm lost, I'll look up to her. <laughs> <laughs>